This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning, you guys. It is the second Sunday of the month, which means Rose Bowl. And we actually got here really late last, or actually yesterday, we went to go hang out with friends in this like, I don't know, the environment was very hikey, a lot of rocks yeah. and somewhat of a mountain or hill. So we woke up really sore and tired. So we're actually here at 10.15. So we're not doing the whole early bird special. So this is new to us. We don't know if there's gonna be any like thing good that's left, but there is a crap ton of people already. And we've learned our lesson. We brought our own water because we are not spending $5.50 on Dasani or Aquafina, whatever it was. But all of our friends are also vending, so we're gonna run into Luisa from Funky Cool Threads, and Haley from Details Vintage, and Tori and Taylor from Nostalgic Threads and Shop Bummy. So we're gonna go say hi to them, and then we're gonna be on a budget today. We're not doing 100 this time, but maybe 50, just because yesterday we also went thrifting at a new location, and we blew some money. So we're gonna go pretty hard hard on those like five dollar ten dollar piles for sure but let's go cutting in real quick before we head over to rose will fleet to talk about today's sponsor which is squarespace they're an all-in-one platform to build an online presence and bring your business so if you need help with anything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics they've got you. I wanted my own website for the past year, but because I'm not good with technology, I'm not good at coding, I never got really far and I just got super intimidated with the process of just building a website. Squarespace made it so dang easy. It's super user-friendly, easy to navigate, and I got my site up and running within two days, inventory and everything. So if you're wanting to take your business to the next level, they do have a ton of features to take advantage of. They have a ton of e-commerce templates, and when I tell you, you have options, you have options. So you'll totally find the template with the design and style the best suits you. They also have inventory management which keeps all of your merchandise super organized and you even get email alerts anytime inventory is out of stock or low in supply. They also have a simple checkout process and secure payments so you're able to connect your Stripe and PayPal so that way your customers can pay using their credit card, PayPal, or Venmo. And even if your customers are on the go, they can actually shop from their phone or any mobile device because Squarespace has a built-in mobile site so every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website so your content looks good on every device as long as it has a screen so if you're ready to take your business to the next level go ahead and visit squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using discount code twinnell but a huge thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video now let's head over to rose bowl fleet sale site okay i know that was really fast but we're actually on our way to the rose bowl right now we saw an estate sale site so we're gonna check that out first it's already 9 49 9 50 actually so we're pretty late but might as well just go to the sale first we found the estate sale y'all i'm thinking because it was on the way to the rose bowl a lot of people probably saw it so hopefully there's at least like one cute piece just got back from that yard sale they started on thursday and today was their last day so there was honestly not a lot there but prices were pretty cheap i got one thing look at my new pillow it's so cute we do have a little stain right there but i only paid two bucks so i'm not gonna complain i'm waiting for arthur and i just found a quarter oh no it's a nickel i'm rich another nickel Guys, we just found our first item from a $5 pile. It's so cute. I'll go ahead and spoil it. It's like, I think it's a zombie graphic, but it's also a halter neck, so it's super cute. That is what I love to see. Big piles of clothes, so let's go through this. I also don't know the price though. How much do you think it is? I think it has to be around five, ten dollars Yes, let's get rummaging. If you wanna leave it all, fly out to see the world. I saw this little collar, so dang cute. I'm just not really into the whole farm scene, but I do like the strawberries. It's also really hot in LA right now. 
but it looks like it belonged to a Judith B before. Soup's cute, but I'm gonna leave it behind. I just picked up two items from the $5 pile. If you ever come to Rose Bowl, make sure you visit Meg Matilda. This is what her booth always looks like. It's red, it's colorful, and she has super reasonably priced items. So, so worth it. All right, let's visit my second favorite booth here is Rose Bowl. And we have another, I think this is a $10 pile, but let's take a look. They always have really good things here. This is so romantic. We're having a hard time finding our friends and we don't know where we're at. I think oh, I don't know, I think it might be down this. Okay. Are we down where are the they at? Okay, let's do a little outfit of the day. We have a little vintage baby tee, some vintage Ozark shorts that I got off of Depop, and then again, thrifted cowboy boots. So we just found Tour Dom. We actually go to their surplus market pretty often. So we're gonna see if there's anything for Arthur. Since he's definitely more of a t-shirt guy. It's fucking sick, bro. 85. This is nice. We're actually headed to Riot Fest later this year and the Misfits are going to be headlining so we've been trying to find some Misfits shirt but they are so expensive bro. A hundred dollars. Creepy little trolls. Look at this one. What the heck? This, 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 this. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we are back from the Rose Bowl fleet and I came across so many cute pieces. I'm really stuffed about one in specific just because it's a piece that I've been manifesting for months. I kept telling myself, Danielle, think positively, you'll run across it at the thrift eventually and it finally happened at Rose Bowl and I only got it for five bucks. So I'll show it to you guys real soon. But I was trying to stay within the 50, 60 dollar budget or at least just under a hundred and I feel like I did pretty well. I spent $65 and most of the items I picked up were only five bucks except for one which was a $40 item. But before we went to Rose Bowl, we actually hit up an estate sale and I already showed you guys but I did pick up one item and it's this pillow that I got for two bucks. It's just really European. We have this girl here on the front who's getting all prettied up. She has a whole bunch of perfumes in front of her. And I just finished doing the like interior design or decorating of my room in the corner of my loft over here. So I'll just show you guys a quick little snippet. But I'm incorporating a lot of texture, a lot of green and pink. The art that I have on the wall is also very feminine, pastel colored, and has hints of impressionism. So I kind of feel like the pillow is very European, kind of goes hand in hand. So I had to take it with me. I actually surprised myself with this purchase but I got a hair clip. It's just checkered, it's made of like plastic, but surprisingly it's really sturdy. And hair clips, especially with like funky prints, have been super trendy all over my TikTok and my Instagram, so I finally decided just to get one, especially because I feel like I am pretty boring with my hair. If it's not straight, I kind of just curl it. And I also wanted something that was sturdy enough to hold my really heavy hair. And look at this, it's so dang cute. Plus, did I mention I only spent five bucks? So good. Okay, but now let's finally move on to some clothes now. I'll try to put all the vendors that I shop from down below, but there were a few. I was just like kind of in the heat of the moment, super excited to shop, and I forgot to ask for their Instagram or their shop name, but this is the very first purchase that I got from a $5 pile, so it does fit me really big. I think this fits like a large or extra large, so I am gonna have to take it in on the sides. I'm guilty. I've never heard of this band before. I just really like the graphic, and there's just two things that I'm really obsessed with. 
clowns and zombies. And so when I saw this zombie on here, I was just like, yes, absolutely. I don't even care if it fits me. I'm gonna take it home. But it's from the band Obituary and the album is Slowly We Rot. And then we've got a cool little zombie here on the ground. But I also don't wanna be that person who just wears like a rock band shirt and not know any songs by them. So I Googled them and I listened to some of their music. And let me tell you, it is scary. <laughs> So it's a very hardcore death metal band and you know, I'm used to things like Under Oath and The Devil Wears Prada because I used to listen to them late at night around like 2-3 o'clock in the morning on MTV but this is just a whole nother level so I don't know if I'm like gonna be a fan unless I find those really like slower songs. The next two pieces I did get from Meg Matilda. I always purchase from her $5 pile anytime she does Rose Bowl. But her $5 pile isn't just full of random pieces. It's like legit items that I would gladly spend more than $5 to just purchase them off of Depop. So the first one I got is this little slip here. I just think it's so dang cute and not sure if you can tell but the skirt actually lies pretty high on the hips and then kind of just divots down. So I just think it looks super feminine and romantic. And then let me show you a close up because we have a lot of pretty sequin and bead detailing. I know there's not too much going on with the slip, but I think it's super versatile. And honestly, it's just about the details. Even the straps kind of loop together like this. And I just think it's super pretty and reminds me of something a like figure skater would wear. The next piece I got is this cute little halter top here. So from far away, I thought maybe it was in the $5 pile because you know, you kind of see like black spots through it, but it's actually black sequins. Like it's silver and black sequins that make up this little heart pattern. So it's such a shame that I didn't find this before Valentine's Day because I totally would have worn that then. Or you know, really actually, anything with heart stars, or fire flames. I kind of just want in my wardrobe. All right, let's talk about the last two items of this haul and they're both from the shop No Está Aquí. And okay, let's just show you the first piece because this is the bustier that I have been manifesting and been wanting for so long. It's also Fredericks of Hollywood. So we are expanding my collection. And when I tell you, I've been wanting this for so long that I didn't even care what colorway. I just wanted this style to be mine. And the fact that I found it in red and black which has been a color combo that I've been loving, loving for months. So the thrift gods were looking down on me and totally blessing me with this. But even better is that I got it for only $5. So why is it that I was so obsessed with it? It's just the little red accents that pop out. It actually has a built-in bra underneath. So it's super supportive, no nip slips. And then we have the red accents here on the side. But it is bone throughout, but still super flexible. So it's not one of those pieces that's gonna be like super restrictive. So I was freaking out when I showed Arthur this fine and I was just like, you know what? I'm ready to go home. This is all I want. I don't need any more. But while we were still under that booth, I saw a vest that I saw on her Instagram and I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. Ever. So I decided to take it with me and it's this cute little crochet vest with brown lettuce edge trimming that also has this really silver sparkly thread through it. But come on, this is just so freaking cute. But it gets even better because look at these buttons. They're in shape of hearts and have a pearly finish to them. So this was my biggest purchase of the day. I ended up spending $40 on it. But right now I'm kind of having a moment with like sweater vests and just vests in general, which I know that trend has kind of already passed, but you know what, I'm gonna stay here for it. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of my Rose Bowl flea haul. If you liked it in the Pieces, let me know down below. I'm gonna continue making these haul videos until you are convinced to make a trip to Roseville Flea because sometimes I can't believe that it took me four years to finally go just because I used to think, wow, that's such an LA thing. I don't wanna be another hipster social media person just launching it on their Instagram. It's actually really worth it. Even if you are on a budget, there's tons of five, $10 piles to shop from. So definitely take this video as a message to go hit up Rose Bowl Fleet. It happens the second Sunday of every single month. So there's absolutely no excuse. And if you do go, let me know which cute pieces you end up walking away with. And again, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So don't forget that if you're ready to take your business to the next level, go ahead and visit squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website using discount code TWINO. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!